Here we are, uh, installation on a Kubota generator of auto start module, all the parts needed and how to do it. Like I said before, you got your auto start module, you've got your installation cheat sheet with photographs that relate to the generator, you got your wire, your drill, and of course you have your generator, and the connections are going to meet on this uh, terminal strip right here. This is where they're made. You're going to need 48 inches of wire to get from here through here and over to here. You'll have a little left over. And you'll need a total of seven wires. Let's come back to this in a moment. We'll make up our wiring harness. So you may have noticed we made up these wiring harnesses four feet long. Some of the wires are the same color, but we indicated them by putting like a piece of tape on them like we have two greens but one of the greens has white one has yellow let's put these all together strip the ends get it ready to install on the module so I hooked uh, the wiring harness to a hook so I could pull on it stretch it out and then tape it occasionally leave it uh, uh, about you know eight inches on the tag end so that you can work with these wires when you get to the terminal strip. You don't want them too tight because you won't be able to spread them out. Anyhow, that's how I do it. Now we need to bear the ends so that we can attach it to the terminals. I'm going to uh, loosen up these terminals beforehand. Uh, the wires will slip right in here. You don't need uh, terminal connection ends on them because you can see there's a uh, washer right here underneath the screw head and that's where you slip your wire in then when you tighten it down that uh, washer will clamp down on the bare end of the wiring harness